Hello again, everybody. Mental Fuxer, welcome back to Skyrim. I'm so glad you're here. I'm excited to play this game again. <laughs> I like this game. <laughs> I'm having fun exploring this game. Uh, you may notice a few differences. Uh, I have changed the uh, field of view uh, to 100. I kind of like it. It's not too fish-eyed, but it gives me some pretty good peripheral vision. Uh, I feel pretty good about it. I like it. And then I've also adjusted the brightness. Uh, a couple of you have said that uh, it's pretty dark when I go into caves, so uh, let me know if this looks pretty good to you. It looks good to me, um, but whenever I record something and then put it on YouTube, it's always darker. I don't know why, but it is, so let me know if this looks okay. Um, I can up the brightness a little bit more, uh, but not a whole lot more. Another thing I did was I also changed the audio. I upped the voice to max, and then I put effects down a little bit. Uh, because I felt like the effects were kind of overshadowing the voice. So hopefully you'll be able to hear the voices of the characters a little bit better as I play. Let's talk to Feindel and see what he has to say. I've got your back. So um, he didn't sound all that loud to me, but they never do. So you um, lead, I'll follow. yeah, let me know how it's working out for you guys. I just want to make this as enjoyable for you as it is for me. And it is quite enjoyable. I'm really enjoying this. So we're here in um, some place and we're doing something. That's what we're doing. Doing this quest called the Golden Claw. Luke and Valerius in Riverwood is offering me a gold reward if I retrieve his antique Golden Claw. Stolen by bandits camped in Bleak Falls Barrow. That's where we are now. If we show it on the map, we'll see. That's where we are. We're up here in uh, Bleak Falls Barrow. Or at least we're close to it anyway. Um, I mean, it says it's cleared, so I guess we took care of it. So let's go outside, back out into the cold, and uh, we'll go um, back to Lucan and Riverwood. I guess I could fast travel back there, but I'm not going to fast travel yet. I'm still learning this place, still exploring, and uh, I don't want to fast travel yet. <laughs> Although, uh, who's that guy down there? Now that I've walked out here, interesting, what the heck? Here's a potion of true shot. Where's Feindal? Is he not going to come with me? Oh, look how bright and sunny it is out here. It's so beautiful. Do I, are these stairs that I go down? How do I get out of here? It's kind of weird, right? Feindal hasn't followed me. He's like, I ain't going out there. It's cold out there. What are you talking about? Actually, it doesn't look that bad, does it? Nice and sunny out here. Doesn't seem like it's windy. That's one thing I'd like to see. I'd like to see some wind blowing through those trees. Because, boy, boy, they are stock still, aren't they? Well, as soon as they say that, that one moves a little bit. That's good. Um, what is this? There's somebody walking around down here. Can I get down from here? Let's try this. I mean, this kind of looks like stairs, maybe, except not. How am I supposed to get down from here? I don't want to die. Oh gosh, why is it not letting me walk in that direction? That's weird. Well, the game's not letting me walk in that direction. So, I don't know, maybe that's the edge of the map or something. I'm gonna try to get down from here, but this just seems odd to me. It doesn't seem like an actual exit. So I saw somebody walking around down here. Where did he go? There's some big old dinosaur bones down here. <laughs> you know, dinosaurs in Skyrim. It's one of the things I know about Skyrim. There's dinosaurs in it. Huh, where'd that guy go? I want to see him. Oh, hi. Oh, nope, that ain't him. The way Feindal was running at me, it, it for a moment I was startled. I was startled. I thought I was an enemy. So I'm going to share share something with you guys. So I'm recording this on the day uh, the after I'm recording this <laughs> on Monday afternoon. Monday the what is today? Today is the thirtieth. <clears throat> and today was the first day that I did uh, streaming in a long, long time. I hope you were able to join me. I hope you enjoyed it if you did. I had a great time. I had fun. But it's still it's still a stressful experience for me. Um, but it was success, a successful experience. And so I am enjoying a beverage. Uh, I have never, ever in my five years of doing this, uh, enjoyed a beverage while recording. It's just something I've never done. I don't drink that much anyway, but... Um, in case you're wondering, now go. Ahead, you you can go ahead and laugh at this, and you could scoff. That's fine. This is this is maybe sacrilegious what I'm having, but I enjoy bourbon. Uh, I'm originally from Kentucky, home of bourbon, and so I like to enjoy some bourbons. And so I'm enjoying some bourbon 
uh, from my home state of Kentucky. There's something down there. And uh, <laughs> I like to um, have my bourbon with a, with a Coke, but I don't drink Coke, so I drink Coke Zero. So I'm having bourbon and Coke Zero. Now, that may sound gross to you, uh, but I like Coke Zero, and I like bourbon and Coke Zero. Just bourbon, like, well, today two shots of bourbon, uh, a little bit of Coke Zero, and some ice, and I'm enjoying a beverage, and that's probably more than you need, needed to know. But uh, I'm really enjoying it, and I'm just having a good time here, walking around. Beautiful day here in Skyrim. I mean, and me with my new best friend, Feindall. I am just so glad that I met Feindall. He's the best, man. He's the best. He just, he just saved my bacon back there. Look how pretty this water is. So, um, what else? What else? I wanted to tell you guys. Look at all those wolves or something running around out there. I hope I can get, like, binoculars or something in this game. Because I'd like to look over there, but I can't see that far. Um, you know, oh. something else... Why did he say all? Something else I don't know how to do is assign weapons to, a to, like, a, um, a slot, you know? Um, I don't know how to do that. I see favorite down here. And I could favorite my hunting bow. Um, I could favorite my... Yeah, and what do these triangles mean? I still don't know what this means, but I don't know what favorite does or even how it works. But what I would like to do is when I'm out here, I would like to press, I don't know, the four key and have my bow come up. But I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to switch weapons. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Okay, so that's what the mouse wheel does. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at that. Yeah, look at me exploring Skyrim. And everything that comes along with it. I see uh, my big old giant warhammer on my back, but I don't see my bow on my back. I see arrows on my back, but I'm not seeing my bow. Where's my bow, damn it? I want to see it. There's my dude, looking good with his hat on, looking good with his outfit on. I'm liking it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know how to switch weapons in this game. And then I'll, I'm always just so eager to play. I just want to jump in and play it that I don't really want to take the time to learn these things. So just tell me. <laughs> you. You sitting there right now in front of your computer. Tell me how to do what I want to do. <laughs> uh, I want to head back to uh, Riverwood so that we can complete this quest. And um, I mean, I'm kind of going in the right direction. I mean, not kind of. I am going in the right direction. So, uh, let's see. I believe we're getting close to that uh, witch's hut, and I wonder if she's still going to be mad at me for exploring her um, cellar. <laughs> um, so I'm a little nervous about walking past her place there, because last time I was there, she shot some magic at me. I wanted to do that. See, there's the hut over there, so I'm going to just kind of give her a little, little bit of space. I'll just give her a little bit of space. Maybe, maybe she'll forgive us for exploring her cellar. Well, she's not mad that we explored her cellar. She's mad that we learned her secret, that she's a witch and she's in a coven. I believe that's why she's upset with us. So we're just gonna, just gonna give her some space. We'll give her some time to cool down. Ooh, there's a person there. Are you a friendly person? Hi, can we be friends? Who are you? Hmm. This is Bulbus. Bulbus? <laughs> Bulbus. Yes? Hello. How are you, Bulbus? I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. Yeah? He'll think my taste so refined when I offer them to him. Who's you have he? heard of the gourmet. Uh, I've never heard of the gourmet. Tell me more, please. You've not heard of the gourmet? Author of Uncommon Taste? He is a wizard with a spatula. Ooh. Well, not an actual wizard, but his recipes are legendary. You know, I've heard the gourmet is in Skyrim right now. Yeah? Oh, tell, come on, tell me more, man. Don't let me hang in. Oh, that's all I get from you? I don't get a quest. So, <clears throat> um, I'm going to take notes in this game. Because uh, there's things that I want to remember to do, right? Now, he didn't really give me anything to do. But uh, I'm going to make a note about this gourmet in Skyrim. And I'm going to make a note that Bulbus told me about that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. 
All right, Baldwin, you know, it was really nice meeting you. All right, then. Nice talking to you. Um, best of luck to you, and um, I hope you get to meet uh, the Gourmet someday. I hope you do, man. I want that for you. I want the best for you. Uh, so that is the place we explored when we were on our way up to um, Bleak Falls. It was pretty neat. There were bandits there, though. Bandits ruined everything. I don't know if you know this about me, but I hate bandits. I don't like thieves, man. I don't like... If, you, if you're if you a thief, you are the scum of the earth. Taking things that don't belong to you. Just the scum of the earth, man. I don't like thieves. I don't like it. So bandits, raiders, I don't like them. Look at this tree somebody chopped down. Whoa. <laughs> Fain Dolby gave me a little push. That was funny. I really don't want to swim across this water. That seems so undignified. Uh, but I don't really know how else to get across it, you know? Doesn't it seem undignified? It's like, who's this peasant swimming across the water towards our town? Who is it? What's this? Oh, here's some, some mushrooms. Mora Tapanella. So uh, somebody told me that if I taste things, I'll learn about it. So let's just taste some mushrooms. <laughs> food. Is Mora Tapanella food? Oh, it's not. No. Is it ingredients? Mora Tapanella. I can eat it. I'm gonna eat it, man. Let's eat it. Let's eat some Mora Tapanella. Oh, I think I... No, I didn't eat it. Let's eat it. Oh, I ate it. Restore Magicka Discovered from Mora Tapanella. Oh, okay. Bone meal. Let's eat some bone meal. Oh, shnikes. Damaged stamina recovered from... Discovered from... Whoa. Oh, gosh. Oh, whoa. Oh, was it that just went down to the water? Did you see that? Or am I seeing things? Whoa. <laughs> it's Fandol. What are you doing, Fandol? Fand I'm like... It's undignified to swim through the water. And there goes, <laughs> goes Fandol in the water. <laughs> that was so freaking funny, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, anyway, yeah, this is cool, man. I mean, like eating food and stuff. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm checking out ingredients. Uh, bone meal. So now I know about Dodge Stamina. So if I eat it again, well, maybe I'll learn another thing about it. Let's do it. Let's eat this some more of this, man. Ooh, no, I didn't learn anything else. I... <laughs> It's dead. I don't. It hurts. What's that green bar down in the lower right-hand corner of the screen? What's that? I guess that's the effect of um, damage stamina, I guess. And I guess it wears off after a moment. I guess. I don't know, man. It doesn't last very long. Oh, man, I'm going to get my boots wet. Oh, man, let's get some more and more, more of Telepanella. Yeah. Some more Mora. more so now if we look in our ingredients, uh, we'll see more Tapanella, and we'll see now that we know this Restore Magicka. And if I eat it again, um, I didn't learn anything else. So I don't know how to learn those other things, but we learned something. So I made it over to the bridge so I don't have to be like a barbarian and swim across the water to get into Riverwood. Did I call it Riverwood before? Is that right? Riverwood? I keep almost accidentally calling it Riverwind. Riverwind is like a Indian casino in Oklahoma. Okay. <clears throat> I've never been. I just am aware of it. This is a really pretty game. So, um, I've had some people uh, suggest some mods. And I think I said in an earlier episode that um, I wasn't going to do any mods because I kind of wanted to play the game uh, Vanilla. Which is a funny thing to say, because I'm playing the special edition of it, but... I think I, there are some mods I'm going to use. Somebody made a really good point. Somebody somebody said something that spoke to me. And they were talking about this freaking... Um, the inventory, right? They said that the game... I don't know if this is true or not. This is just one comment I got. Somebody said that the game was designed with consoles in mind. I'm not playing on a console. I'm playing on PC. And uh, they said this a mod or some mods out there that kind of make the UI more uh, take it so that the UI takes advantage of being on a PC so I'm going to go back and find that comment again and I'm going to uh, I am going to apply that mod and see if I like it and there was another mod somebody told me about 
that tells me about the books that I've read, because otherwise there's no freaking way I'm going to be able to keep track of which books I've read, right? I mean, look at these books I picked up. I think I've read all of these books, but I'm not sure. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way for me to know right here, so uh, that is a mod that I'm going to get as well. So uh, I'm going to harvest. I'm going to harvest some salmon. <laughs> I'm sure this person who owns this salmon is going to mine one bit, and I'm going to harvest their salmon. I'll I'll leave him some salmon. I, I'm not a total. <laughs> what did I just say to you that I hate thieves? <laughs> just stole that guy's salmon. Ugh. I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm not I'm not gonna steal people's stuff anymore. I'm not. This is kind of neat. Look at this little little thing here, just for a view, I guess. Just come out of here and take a nice view of Riverwood here. Feindal's like, oh my god, are we gonna fight anything or are you just gonna walk around? Feindal's so bored. Feindal, I'm like, Feindal, can you follow me onto this person's roof? Can you do that? Uh, I don't know why I say roof instead of roof. I have no answer for you. I, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I don't say room, I say room, you know? And sometimes I watch TV shows, like for example, HGTV. Uh, there's a show called Love It or List It, and uh, there's this guy David on that show, and he's like a real realtor, and he like shows people houses, and he always says bedroom, and you know he says r room instead of room, and it drives me nuts. But then I notice that I say roof instead of roof. I don't know where it came from. I'm gonna stop it right now. From now on, I'm on the roof. This is the roof. Raise the roof. Turn it over a new leaf, man. Ooh. Harvest thistle. Is that stealing? I mean, this is this is out in nature. It's not stealing, right? <laughs> Feindal's like, what are you doing? Okay. We are supposed to go back here to Lucas. Lucan. And uh, bring him his golden claw. Oh, here's Camilla. She cheated out of... Our, she was supposed to take me to I can't remember the name of it she was supposed to take me to Bleak Falls Barrow but she didn't, what the heck Camilla have the claw. oh you have to tell Lucan at once hurry am I like wearing the claw as like a, a pendant around my neck how did you know I had the claw hurry. you're a strapping young Ooh. man don't be a stranger well, I'll see you later Camilla Hey, I got your claw, dude. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. Oh, you're a big tough man. Sitting there behind a counter while I go out and do your dirty work. The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. Our lives, really? Our lives? How is my life affected by your claw being stolen? Don't let my sister do anything foolish. <laughs> That's between me and your sister, dude. <laughs> okay. You're back from Bleak Falls. Did I you find am back. anything? I did. I uh, found the Golden Claw, dude. You're going to be so freaking happy. And you better pay me a lot, too, because I did it for the money. I didn't do it as... as uh, I didn't do it because we're friends, basically. I mean, we can be friends. We're just not friends yet, all right? But I want money for this. I did it for the money. I'm just, just letting you know. I just want you to make sure that we're on the same page. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. <laughs> it seems smaller, it seems than, smaller I than I remember. <laughs> Funny thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. I know. Oh, geez. Golly, look at it. <laughs> Steal it back from him. <laughs> Thank you I'm so not. much for taking care of those thieves. The Riverwood Trader is back to the way it used to be. Go, okay. Did I get money? Did I? I guess I missed it, didn't I? You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm no fool. So, um, did I get money? Did I get money? I have returned the golden claw to Lucan, who rewarded me for my effort. I guess it showed up on the screen and I just missed it. I'm sorry. Um, let me go into my inventory and, um, all. I, whoa, 1,133 gold. How much gold did he give me, man? I'm going to have to go back and look. That's, I, I didn't have that much. That's a lot. What is this? So many things that just, like, aren't explained. 
Um, which I guess is true Bethesda form. Not Bethesda bashing. I love Bethesda. They're one of my favorite developers. I'm not even joking. Um, they really are. But um, what <laughs> what is this? Tell me what it is, Bethesda. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. That's great. Hey, how much for the Golden Claw? My sister Camilla or I will be happy to help you. Do you sell spells? I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, so this is the stuff that he sells. And um, this is the stuff that I have down here. And uh, he sells some books. Ooh, Spell Tome, Clairvoyance, Frostbite, Fury, Lesser Ward, Oak Flesh, and Ray's Zombie. Now, I, I really do feel like I have enough money to buy all these, but I'm not I'm not really going to play this game as a magic user. At least I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to be some some strong guy because I'm a Nord, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. He also sells some weapons. And speaking of weapons, I have some stuff I want to sell to him, I believe, uh, because when we were in um, Bleak Falls, uh, I was following the rule of... Um, I was following the rule of only picking up things that are um, 10 gold per one weight, right? And I should have some things to sell him, but it doesn't look like I do. I'm going to sell him the steel dagger. I don't know why I'm carrying this, but let's sell that. And um, ancient Nord great sword of cold. This doesn't actually match what I was supposed to be collecting but it seems like a pretty cool sword target takes five points of frost damage to health and stamina i mean that's damage 28 that's a lot more damage than this fine iron war hammer that i've got here right this does 31 this does 28 oh never mind this does less so why does this say 31 plus 7 down here my iron war hammer does 31 oh and then there's a plus 10 i guess i've got some kind of Modifiers, I guess. Apparel, I think I have some apparel I want to sell. I mean, yeah, this fur armor, we're going to just get rid of this crap. Fur bracers. This is stuff that I shouldn't have picked up in the first place, but I did before I started um, filtering out things. Hide bracers. Wow, I, I didn't know I picked up this much crap. Um, what am I wearing? Okay, I'm using these hide boots of minor stamina, so I don't need these Imperial Light boots anymore. Iron armor, so, okay. Uh, it has been suggested that I wear heavy armor, and that's a good suggestion. Um, because if I'm going to be a two-handed guy, I'm going to be getting up and personal, up close to other people. So, iron armor, heavy armor would be a good thing instead of this light armor. Although this doesn't really have that much more you know, armor, but I'm going to sell this. I'm going to let's see. Do I have any bracers? Helmet. Okay. Iron helmet. That's heavy armor. So I'm going to sell this helmet and, um, hmm. that was a fine iron helmet. And then I'm going to sell this ring and this necklace and this circlet and this gold necklace. And I am rolling in the dough can you direct me to the local realtor there, Lucan? I'm going to buy me a house in Riverwood, man. Okay, cool. All right. I think we're good. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay. Until next time. Until next time, indeed. Let me look at my inventory. I'm going to look at my apparel. I'm going to put on some iron armor, iron boots, iron gauntlets, iron helmet. What happened? So I could either wear the iron gauntlet or the imperial light bracers. I'm going to wear the iron gauntlets. Um, I kind of like the idea of wearing the hide boots of minor stamina. It increases my stamina by 20 points. So let's sell the, let's wear those. I'm going to sell these iron boots and I'm going to sell these bracers to this guy because he's a big dummy. He buys everything. Maybe you're looking for something. Trinkets, yeah, I'm looking for gold. Odds and ends, that sort of thing. That's what I'm looking for, dude. I'm looking for that stuff. So we're going to go into my apparel. I'm going to sell these light bracers. And I'm going to sell these boots. Oh. Okay, and I'm going to sell this helmet because I want to wear the fine helmet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Apparel. 
put on my iron helmet. Back away and take a look at us, and that is a cool helmet. So that's the helmet we that I carry keep. Just about yeah. anything you could. Right, I'm trying to talk, Lucan. Do you mind? Uh, this is the helmet that I see, like in um, I know some graphics of, it of this like game. Junk, but everything's a treasure in the right light. Everything is a treasure in the right light. That's that's a good quote. You should write that yes. down, Lucan. Cracks me up. This is the thing that was so valuable that I had to go all the way up to. Bleak Falls. <laughs> I'll never remember the name of that place. Ears. Uh, it's so valuable, he just leaves it sitting on, sitting on his counter. <laughs> Correct. I'm me all up. ears. Oh, where'd Camilla go? F F Fangdahl, did you see where Camilla went? I know you're interested in Camilla, too. Where'd she go, man? Yo, Camilla. Let's see what happens if we go out here. Ooh. I hear somebody walking around. Where'd Camilla go? Camilla now has three suitors. Sven, Feindahl, and yours truly. Where'd you go, Camilla? Huh? I want to know where she went. Who's this? This is... Oh, it's... What the... Okay, I guess Lucan's going home. Ooh, is this where Lucan lives? Oh. He's going to the Sleeping Giant Inn? Does he live here? Or maybe he's going to go have a beverage. And that was funny, he went bald when he went in there. Did you see that? <laughs> this is disguise. You know, here she is. You ain't so bad. Here, take this. Oh, thanks, man. He just gave me a potion of cure disease. Thanks, Embry. Take uh, what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Oh gosh, I'm looking at My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some meat. Sure thing, Embry. So Sven is sitting there playing. He's like trying to impress Camilla. She's not having any of it. <laughs> She's not interested at all. Way, oh gosh, sorry. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Thanks, Alvor. Wow, we are just the center of attention here, aren't we? Hey, uh, how you doing, Need Camilla? Something? How's it going? It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. You're welcome. What are you staring at? This is local favorite. And <laughs> what are you staring at? I'm just, I'm learned. just looking at Camilla, man. Ragnar That's all. Red. There once was a hero named Ragnar the Red yeah. came riding to Whiterun from old Whatever you need, buy you smear if it's simple and, and strong. And I can forge. As he told of bold battles in gold he had made. Oh God, Sven. But then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said, Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink all our mead. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Oh my. And so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave lass Matilda charged in full of zeal. And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Oh, bravo, You're Sven. Oh, yeah, I think he just said you're nothing but trouble. He probably doesn't like us very much. Oh, she was clapping. It's a fine day with you around. Yeah, it is. You're not from around here. That makes two of us. Oh, you're not from around here either. I came here from the Imperial Province to work with my brother, Lucan. Oh, yeah? Tell me more. It got bad back in Cyrodiil. Yeah, it sure did. The war with the Thalmor ruined everything. Everything? I came to Skyrim looking for a better life. So what did I get? Another war. I hear you, Camilla. I just want to find a good husband really? and start a family of my own. Oh. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, oh gosh, Sven, you were so freaking annoying. He's over there playing the guitar-like thing, whatever that was. Now he's playing the the uh, recorder-like thing. Out of my way, stranger. Oh, I'm a stranger now. I thought we were buddies. Golly, man. Tough crowd. Feindahl's just standing there. Uh, let's take a look at our quest. We've got the main quest here, uh, Before the Storm. We've got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff here. We're supposed to join the Imperial Legion, visit the College of Winterhold, talk to Aventus Aretino. Why am I supposed to talk to Aventus Aretino? I don't remember. Visit the Shrine of Azura, kill the bandit leader located at Halted Stream Camp. If I show that on the map, um, that is kind of far away. Um... I'm just trying to zoom around, but I keep leaving markers instead. Um, how can I, how do I? Okay, I move around like this. Let me get rid of this marker here. 
Okay, so we're here in Riverwood, and if we want to do this, we'd have to go up here to kill this bandit leader. We have to go all the way up there. We'd have to go through White Run, and um, we want to go to White Run to talk to the Jarl. It seems pretty important that we let the Jarl of White Run know about this dragon. Hadvar's uncle Alvar asked me to take word to the Jarl of White Run of the dragon attack on Helgen and to ask the Jarl to send soldiers to protect Riverwood. I think we should do that. We should probably head off and do that. I wonder if uh, our buddy uh, Feindar, Feind Feindal is going to come with us. There's only one way to find out. So let's start heading for White Run. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Back out to Skyrim. And uh, it may be nighttime, but we don't care. Uh, we don't need any rest. Although I do understand that there's a mod for that too. I don't, as much as I am int intrigued by a mod that makes rest, and I think food and water uh, a factor, uh, I'm not gonna apply that uh, because that kind of changes the gameplay a bit. Uh, the other mods I've been talking about are just like interface mods for the interface. I, I don't want to change the gameplay, although I must say that I, I do kind of like that idea. Okay, we want to go to White Run, and I think White Run. It's actually kind of hard to tell which way it's pointing. Um, is it pointing this way, I guess? Let's look at our map. So this probably will take us to White Run. So I asked this question before Is it more dangerous? To travel at night, I don't know. I ain't worried about it. I got Feindal with me. Right, Feindal? <laughs> I took around he's not there. <laughs> Come on, dude. Am I going too fast for you? Jeez, I'm just walking. All right, see that? Nothing, nothing weird about it. I'm just... Okay, I'm running. I'm sorry, Feindal. You're right. I'm running. I'm probably too fast for you. I'm, I'm a very swift runner. I'm known far and wide for my running ability. be coming upon some wolves maybe. I need you to stay close to me, Feindal. I need your help, man. I admit it. I need your help. You're very important to me, Feindal. Running to White Run. That's interesting straight ahead. I wonder if that's White Run over there. Looks like a big tall building. Oh! What's this? Some people here. Hello, people. Are you friendly people? I hope you're friendly people, because I'm friendly. I'd like to make friends with you. Hey, guys. How's it going? What's up? What's if up? If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Citizen, I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be gone. Huh. Okay. So this is a Stormcloak soldier. These are Imperial soldiers, so they're not friends. And we just got a miscellaneous quest here to um, join the Stormcloak Rebellion. So we haven't really chosen a side yet. In the first episode, we kind of ended up following Hodvar, who is a member of the Imperial Legion. Uh, but just because we did that doesn't mean that we've joined the Legion. Citizen. I'm warning. Your presence is interfering with Imperial business. Be Fine, gone. I'm going. I'm, we're just having to be going in the same direction. Jeez. Whoa. <laughs> Watch where you're going, dude. <laughs> so, we have not decided on a side at all, you know. Uh, but I do feel like that maybe it is important if we let the Jarl here know about this dragon. And plus, we were asked by Alvar uh, to let this guy know. Hey, how's it going? Oh, nice, nice torch, dude. White Run Guard. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. It's true. One of those horrors comes here. We'll be ready. Really? You'll be ready for a dragon? Seriously, dude? A dragon? How are you going to be ready for that? Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons? Words gone mad, I say. Oh, yeah, well, you know. I saw it with my own two eyes. I don't know what else to tell you. Mm 
Hunting Brew Meadery discovered. Really? Is that where I am? I thought I was going to White Run. Oh gosh, we're still a long ways from White Run. We are at Hunting Brew Meadery. Well, I mean, you know, it's a long trip. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't stop in and have a beverage, right? Let's have a beverage of mead. If they're open, they might not even be open. I don't know. Uh, it requires a key. This is the boilery. This sign says Hunting Brew Meadery. I've never had mead before. Sounds like something I might like. I don't know. Can I help you? Um, I guess. I don't know. What a quaint little place. Here's Sabjorn. Welcome. I'm the owner and proprietor of Hunting Brew Meadery. Oh, you're the owner. Okay. What have you got for sale, dude? Take a look. He sounds suspicious. He's got some food here. Apple pie, baked potatoes, you know, all kinds of nice stuff. Not interested in any of it, though. Uh, until next time. Yeah. You it need something to do, or you just enjoy slowing down the hard-working folk? The hell, man. I just got here. Honey you want to buy something, go find natural honey. Otherwise, not that piss sludge off. you'll find at Golden Glow Estate. What? Okay, you guys could just not talk to me both at the same time. To tell you the truth, Sabjorn isn't much of an owner. Slave driver, sure. Dude, he's sitting right there. He may be small, but what we lack in size, we make up for in quality. I've never met someone like him that revels so much in others' misery. Dude, he's right there, literally. Huh? Huh? Okay, well, I don't know what the story is here. Oh, look at this place. Hey, are you an employee here? If you need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim, you're in the right place. I do need to sample some of the finest mead in Skyrim. How did you know? If you're looking to purchase any mead, speak to the owner, Sabior. No, oh, I thought you said sample. Well, we're a small meadery, but growing quickly. Sabjorn's only been running this place for a short time now, and look at it. <laughs> I'm looking, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing. It's beautiful. Nice work. Where's some of this mead I could sample? There was, there was talk of sampling mead? Where are you going? Oh, yes. whoops. Damn it. I hate it when I do that. I walk up and they're ready, ready to say something and then I cancel it when I try to talk to them. Dude, do you know where I can get some mead samples? I'm all ears. Do you know where I can get some mead samples? Got something to say? I do. Oh, this is neat. What's down here? Uh, it requires a key. Doggone it, man. I want, to, I want to see what's down there, but I also don't want to steal a key from somebody. Where did you go, Sabjorn? Sweet roll, just left there. I mean, it, is it really stealing if it's just sitting there on a table and, and you know, nobody, nobody, nobody is eating it? It's just sitting there. It's just going to go to waste. I'm not going to steal. Turning over a new leaf. No stealing. No stealing, man. Snooping. That's a different story entirely. You need to leave. What? Huh? What? Why do I? Why do I need to leave? Go. You're not wanted here. Oh. Oh. <coughs> you need to leave. Okay. I'm sad now. Can a man have a bit of privacy? Oh my Get god. out of here! Oh my god. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Okay, I'm leaving. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, that <laughs> really feel bad. That could just make me feel like crap. Jeez, sorry, dude. Wow. Okay, maybe it's the end of my snooping days too. I was. It's got to be rated. Jeez. Uh. Okay, we're going to White Run is what we're doing. And, um, I mean, I guess we're heading in the right direction. I guess. Well, there's a bridge there. I think we need to go that way. Let's go back over here. Yeah, you thought I was running fast before. Dude, I'm running real fast now. Oh, what's the sign say? Oh, it's actually telling me that White Run is this way. Okay, fine, I'll go this way. Whoops, that's not the right button. 
Look at me go. Yeah, run. You can't keep up with me, Feindal. You're too slow, man. You can't keep up with me. Whoa. That looks scary. What's going on over there? It looks like a giant. This guard didn't seem to care. He's like, oh crap, there's a giant over there. I'm going to turn around and walk back. What's going on over here? Whoa, what's going on? What happened? Who are you? Hi. How's it well, going? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Dude, I just got here. Um, you didn't look like you needed help. Certainly not. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. What's a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? Nope. An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Cool, man. Can I join you? I, want, I like earning coin. Not for me to say. Yeah. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in your Vaskar. Hmm. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Thanks, Hail of the Huntress. Speak with the leader of the companions. What was oh, on your damn mind? it. Oh, she was going to say something. Uh, who are the companions? Only the most famous warrior band in all of Skyrim. Have you been living with the Horkers? What if I have? When we arrive, blood is spilled and our blades sing to the glories of Isgrimor. This is life, brother. The struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. So when or why did you join the Companions? Are you kidding? No! I've wanted to be with them since I was a little girl. Haven't you heard the stories of Kodlak and Skior fighting off the 101 Orc Berserkers? I have not. Skior says it was more like 40, but he's just being modest. Where else would I want to be but here? Learning from them, fighting at their sides. You make a good point. Who's in charge around here? The Circle are the ones who parcel out the jobs. That's Ayla, Skior, and the brothers, Farkas and Vilkas. Kodlak advises them, but he doesn't really give orders. Okay, thanks for the info. Talk to you Until later. Until next time. Yeah, talk to you later, Rhea. Who was your buddy? Where'd he go? Where'd your buddy go? Well, he just took off, left her behind. Hey, look, a giant. They didn't even bother to loot. Yeah, maybe they did. There's just two, uh, two, two uh, arrows left. Giant, I'm sorry, man. I tried to come here and help you. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm just joking. Uh, this is not my potato plant. I'm not going to harvest it. I know you can't believe that. But it's not my har my my potato to harvest, so I'm not gonna do it. Where'd your friends go, Rhea? Jeez, they just they were like, okay, we'll just leave her talking to the strange guy and his friend. What's going on over here? Dude and a horse. Can I talk to the horse? I can't. Can I pet the horse? Uh you can't see it right now, but I'm petting the horse. Good horsey. Hey, how's it going, Yorlum? Uh I don't, but I'm curious. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Oh, neat. What do you know about Whiterun? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, Yorvaskar, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Mains and the Battleborns. I want to be careful there. Hmm. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Thanks, man. I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? So here's fast travel. That's kind of cool. Look at all the places we could go. Neat. I mean, I could go to Dawnstar, and I've never even been there before. Boy, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Just hop on and go to Dawnstar? <laughs> That's fine. Until next time. Nice to meet you, Bjorlum. Oh, look at this beautiful horse. Well, we've discovered the Whiterun Stables, and if we look on our map, we'll see that uh, we're just south of Whiterun. Not too far away. Let's look at this beautiful, majestic beast. <laughs> steal this horse. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yeah, this is 
You know, you can always tell a horse's health by looking inside of its head. Here we've got a nice little drawing of a horsey. And uh, if we go inside... Oh, nope, 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 nope. It's locked. We can't go in. I mean, I could unlock it. I'm not going to. It wouldn't be very nice of me to just unlock somebody else's place. What is this thing supposed to be? Some kind of guard post? Not sure what's going on here. Ooh, here's some uh, cabbage. That doesn't belong to me. Here's some potato. It's not mine. I'm not going to take it. Nope. I'm not going to do it. You can't make me do it. Barrels. Not my barrels. I'm not going to look through them. I'm not going to do it. Nope. No, sir. I'm not going to do it. Plenty of stuff lying around. I don't have to go through other people's stuff. This is kind of interesting, though, over here. Little ramp here that goes up. What's the purpose of this? I'd like to build a ramp on the side of my hut so I could store my barrel. And then I want to put my potatoes in it. Look at that. The moon on the other side of that mountain. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Look at this. Can I get in here this way? No, I can't. So I'm going to guess that this is a white run right here. Grab us a little bit of lavender. This is not white run? Guard post here. Nice view. this way Look here and then we've got another little place here to hang out I guess what an interesting place I really don't know what to think about it somebody up there hey how's it going I'm friendly I don't steal I'm a friendly guy I want to come up and say hi to you is that okay I'm gonna sneak up behind you. What do you need? And not kill you. No lollygagging. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know there was a rule here. I'm sorry. I I, I don't. I really don't want to cause any trouble. Uh, I'm a lollygag. Hey, how's it going? They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King, with his voice, shouted him apart. Cool. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Mm. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. I, I wouldn't think of it. What is it? I'm just saying hi. Ooh. A lever that I can't interact with. Here's a dude here. Hey, how's it going, man? What's up, White Run Guard? How's it going? Trouble? No, I'm just saying hi. Helgen, destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? It really is. What is it? Oh, okay. Just saying hi. Well, I guess this is White Run here through these doors. Halt! Oh. City's closed with the dragons about. Oh. Official business only. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Well. I'll come back later. So we could try to intimidate him, we could try to bri uh, bribe him, we could try to persuade him, or we could say Riverwood calls for the Jarl's aid. Uh, or we could say I'll come back later. Safe travels. Okay. So if I come back later, does he halt me again? Let's see. Halt. He does. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Okay. I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, uh, we will try to get into White Run. See if we can... Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. All right. Okay, I get it. All right, I'll come back later. Okay, quit, quit walking close to me so that this doesn't keep happening. <laughs> so, next episode, we'll try to get into White Run because we need to talk to the, the Jarl. We'll see how that goes. And then uh, we'll take it from there. We'll see where Skyrim takes us. 
me and my buddy Feindal. Thank you for joining me on this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. That's all you have to do. Just like or comment. I don't ask for much. Just that. That way I'll know that you're enjoying my playthrough of Skyrim. And I hope you are. Thanks for watching. Sure hope you join me again in the next episode.